Hello friends, this is Alex. Today I am going to teach you a very interesting topic for the nurses. So the topic is ICU nursing care. So what are the things we need to do as a nurse in the ICU? To remember in a shot, there is a mnemonic called fast heart beat. So what is meant by fast heart beat? F stands for feeding. A stands for analgesia. S stands for sedation. H for head up, U for ulcerative prophylaxis, G for glycemic index, S for sedation or a supplementation and B for bowel, uh, bowel movements, I for indwelling catheter and D for de-escalation of drugs. So I will explain one by one and there is a major or minor uh, changes from a medical ICU to the surgical ICUs when, when, we, when we are applying this fast heart speeds. So, we will see. F stands for feeding. Okay. First, first and foremost uh, to the patient what we have to focus mainly focusing on the feeding. Okay. Uh, as in us what you need to observe which type of diet he is taking or which type of feed he is taking or how he is taking whether he is taking by the mouth or a, to any tubes through any tubes or by uh, is he taking feeding through the uh, IV, IV axis. So that is the thing you need to observe as a nurse. Okay. Uh, in this feeding portion whether you are working in a medical ICU or surgical intensive care units. So you need to observe mainly three things uh, NBM. Okay. Whether, whether the patient is on nil by mouth. Okay, nil per oral, NPO or NBM or uh, enteral feeding. Enteral feeding means nothing but giving uh, feeding directly into the intestines or to the stomachs. Okay, to in directly into the GI tract. Okay, through a, any uh, tube, through any tube like by NG tubes or we can say rice tubes or a jejunostomy feed. Okay, gastrotomy feeding. So all those coming under uh, enteral feedings. But another type is TPN, total parental nutrition. Total parental nutrition in this uh, we are giving feeding through the IV axis either through a pick lines or through a uh, through a central lines okay we are giving feeding directly into the blood okay these are the three types mainly we will observe okay uh, in feeding thing these are the two uh, things either in a medical or surgical units you have to observe in a surgical you have to focus on NPM things before surgery suppose patient is uh, posted for surgery preoperative care you have to uh, observe for nbm okay there is a diff, uh, depends on surgery we will keep uh, for 12 hours or 6 hours or 24 hours like that or after feeding uh, after surgery also so those things you have to observe as a nurse and next thing analgesia a stands for analgesia so analgesia uh, mainly uh, in, a, in our uh, ICUs all the patients will have pain definitely they will have pain they will undergo for lot of pain but they won't express some of the patients will be in uh, means a semi-conscious state okay or some may be in a sedation okay they can't express so daily in each shift you have to do the pain assessment through a Von Baker pain scale or by a VAS visual analog scale so different pain scales are there you have to assess their pain okay pain of the patient and based on that pain scoring you need to give the uh, different treatment modalities okay they are assessing a pain and giving analgesia okay that is about a next s is for sedation uh, sedation in the medical care okay medical issues sedation suppose if a patient is on ventilator Okay, definitely you have to sedate the patient. Okay, uh, if he is on a VSC mode or a, a SCV mode, okay, uh, PCV mode, or whatever the mode, or SMV mode also sometimes. Yeah, if you are, if patient is uh, conscious, if you, then what he will do? He will definitely uh, will be in a irritable state. He will try to pull off the tube. Okay, then there is a problem. So that's why you have to keep sometimes the patient and uh, on a sedation. But the sedation trials has to be done daily. Okay, daily in the morning time uh, at a six o'clock like that you have to stop the sedation and check for the sensorium. Okay, if you are in the uh, surgical ICUs, 
or in, even in a medicalized use also you need to check the sensorium of the patient whether he is a altered sensorium or his sensorium is good or not means like how you will check by the uh, there is a scale called GCS Glasgow Goma scale okay by checking the motor response verbal response and eye movements so there is a score again up to 15 okay so by uh, daily you have to check the in a each shift you have to check the GCS okay by, based on the GCS you will uh, define the sensorium of that patient okay and sedation trials also to be done on a uh, regular shift basis okay that is a S then T stands for thrombo profile axis thrombo profile axis is stands for so usually ICU patients will uh, mostly you will see a prolonged bedridden patients okay definitely there will be a thrombo uh, profile thrombo profile axis uh, uh, should be given mostly like injection clexanes or giving a DVT pumps or by giving uh, giving a alphabets providing alphabets so all these things you have to provide for preventing the blood clots okay so circulation to prevent uh, to improve the circulation in a long standing uh, bedridden patients so uh, this thromboprophylaxis should be followed in all the ICUs if you are not following if you are not giving any contraindications you need to specify mention in the case sheet document in the case sheet if you are giving you need to write dvt pumps applying or ted stockings are applying or a clexan injections we are giving like that and if you are coming to the surgical ICUs along with the thrombo profile axis you need to check the temperatures also temperature is very very important maintaining the body temperature is very very important so checking temperature every hourly or second hourly is also important and it should be documented and checking the tubes okay this is very very important checking the all the tubes and drains okay that is important check uh, you need to check the tubes how much drain drains is there suppose if any CRT continuous tube aspiration or any ICD is there or any uh, drains from the surgical sites okay so all those things to be checked and what is the output what is the input all these things should be documented in the ICU charts okay in the IGO charts okay that is uh, uh, stands for T in the T thromboprophylaxis checking temperatures and tubes okay so and mm. next thing is H H stands for head up if a patient is on ventilator okay our patient is in altered sensorium definitely you have to, for all the patients in ICU you have to give a, a position called head up position at least to 30 to 35 degrees ideally 45 degrees okay uh, 35 to 45 degrees uh, should be uh, keep okay head should be elevated okay that is called head up why to prevent the aspiration of the uh, gastrointestinal contents okay so that is the reason to keep the head up okay and in a surgical uh, ICUs you need to keep uh, with along with the head up there is a hemodynamics you need to maintain the hemodynamic status also you need to find out the uh, keep the hemodynamically stable okay next thing is ulcer profile axis u stands for ulcer profile axis ulcer profile axis uh, daily we will give uh, in the morning uh, like a pipta um, sorry panta pandal we will give okay proton pump inhibitors so because of the taking of lot of medications okay uh, like a, a means a high end antibiotics and all definitely patient will develop a uh, this one uh, ulcers in the stomach okay to prevent that we will give a proton pump inhibitors like panta usually we will give or if any other also we will give to prevent the ulcers okay that is a ulcerative profile axis and you need to check the urine output also urine output by keeping the urometers hourly urine output you need to check and document it okay this that is that is for you okay and uh, uh, g stands for glycemic control keeping the sugars in control is very very important in the icu care okay usually if the if the patient is non diabetic also by the uh, by the treatment modalities there is a chance of hyperglycemia if you are using any steroids okay definitely there is a chance of in increase in the sugars if you are uh, not finding if you are not treating them then there is a chance of patient to develop some, uh, are going into the coma so definitely and at least in a three shifts uh, TID basis you have to check the GRBS and note it down correct it okay glycemic control is very very important if the patient is uh, um, hypoglycemia also you need to correct immediately so and 
S stands for spontaneous breathing. Okay, breathing trials also should be done on a uh, daily basis in, in the morning or each shift also. If a patient is on ventilator, definitely you need to uh, try for the weaning, wean off trials. Okay, so uh, spontaneous breathing and in a ICU, SICU areas, I mean surgical ICUs, you need to encourage uh, keeping patient in the name. Supplement oxygenation should be given uh, by a mask or NIV or high flow oxygen. So that is a uh, stands for yes. Another thing also you can include in the yes skin care. Skin care is very very important. Uh, checking the uh, skin uh, for any ulcers means bed sore, bed sores. Okay, because the patient is continuously lying on the patient, prolonged bed ridden patients will be there. Then there is a chance of developing the bed sores. Okay, uh, to maintain this um, skin keeping intact is very very important as a nurse. Changing the position second hourly. Okay, and giving a back care is very very important to, to prevent the bed sores. Okay, so that is also you can include in the uh, S and you can include a S sleeping pattern also. Sleeping patterns also if he is a, awake. Okay, these are the things coming under S and B stands for bowel movements. Okay, how how the bowel movements are there, whether the patient passes the uh, stools or not. Okay, or he is having a constipation. If anything, you need to correct. Okay. And in uh, surgical areas, definitely you need to check the bowel movements. Okay. So, uh, post-operative area, definitely you have to focus on the bowel movements. If ileus, gastroparesis, okay, any distension, any bowel, means bowel movements are uh, normal or abnormal, all these things you need to focus on the bowel movements. That is called B. I for uh, indwelling catheters. Indwelling catheters. Uh, there are different catheters you will mostly you will focus on the uh, Foley's catheters okay you try to remove Foley's as early as possible if uh, if he is uh, means recovering okay if you are keeping continuous uh, all these tubes lines and uh, catheters what will happen there is a chance of uh, inc chance of increasing the infections like if you are keeping prolonged time of uh, uh, indwelling catheter like Foley's there is a chance of developing uh, catheter associated uh, infection, urinary tract infections, CORTI or if you are keeping continuous uh, central line for more than I mean, so 14 days, 20 days or 30 days you know, without dressings then what will happen there is a chance of developing clepsis okay central line associated bloodstream infections okay or if a patient on ventilator if you are not treating properly if you are not giving proper treatment then there is a chance of developing VAP ventilator associated pneumonia so these are the um, risk of infections uh, by just because if you are not um, following the proper uh, aseptic precautions okay then there is a chance of developing the all these type of infections okay and indwelling catheter also try to remove as early as possible and there is another uh, to catheters like cvc central venous catheters and epidurals police all these things okay and uh, uh, take care of the next thing is very very important d is called drug de-escalation drug de-escalation uh, hit hard with the first okay first you start with the high end antibiotics then slowly coming down so you taper it taper it okay try to reduce the uh, antibiotics okay uh, because if you are continuously using high end antibiotics then patient will develop a resistance antibiotic resistance or AMR antimicrobial resistance will be there then no drugs will work so that's why the uh, changing of drugs and based on the culture reports Okay, drug de-escalation is very very important and uh, always uh, write, it, uh, write it in a case sheet or a treatment chart, write that number of days, you uh, means antibiotic days should be right. Okay, so and uh, delirium, ICU psychosis also will be developed, that also should be observed as a nurse. So these are the at least minimum things to be uh, observed and to be done by the ICU nurse or a doctor in a every ICU whether it is a surgical ICU or a medical ICU or CT ICU whatever the ICU if you fulfill at least these criteria then patient will receive you can imagine patient is receiving a hundred percent care if you follow all these things definitely the recovery rate will be high okay uh, this is called a mnemonic to remember the ICU care in a shot that is called fast hux bid in a I will give you a quick review F stands for feeding A analgesia and S for sedation okay and T for thrombo prophylaxis and H for head up 
U for ulcerative prophylaxis, G glycemic index and uh, B for bowel movement, Sindelink catheter and de-escalation of drugs. Thank you guys. If you like my uh, content, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you.